Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 17th, 2019. Well, yesterday we had kind of an interesting day where we had futures actually leading the market lower. There was a disparity between the futures and the overall market itself, and we kind of languished yesterday in a little bit of a choppy pattern. If we take a look at uh, more of an intraday uh, chart, you can see yesterday was just kind of, um, well, pretty much blah trading, um, chopping sideways, a little bit of a resting pattern, and largely because we had a retail sales number that kind of disappointed the market. It wasn't terribly disappointing, but um, showed that retail sales uh, declined in the last period and even online sales had decreased. So kind of an interesting situation in the market and just was a little bit um, unsure, I guess, of itself yesterday. And then um, at the end of the day, we had an earnings report from Netflix and Netflix gapping substantially higher this morning on that news. We're a good $20 a share higher this morning on that news. Netflix is pretty happy this morning, and that is leading to some bullishness um, in the market this morning, as well as early this morning, we had a news report that they have reached a tentative or a draft agreement for uh, the Brexit situation, which uh, provides a little bit of hope. We're kind of right at the deadline where um, they can put this draft agreement in front of Parliament and hopefully get something passed before the deadline on the October 31st. The big question right now, of course, is whether Parliament will pass it. And who knows, um, it'll be an interesting uh, back and forth over the next few days on that situation. But the market is happy with that because it's one one less thing maybe that um, creating that uncertainty in the market. Futures rallied sharply on that news and have settled back down a little bit more um, by the time I recorded this. Right now, I'm, um, Dow futures are pointing to a gap up of about 85 points ahead of a big day of news here in the market. So let's get to it here and let's take a look at the technicals of the chart. First here in the diamonds, we have to recognize the fact that we are pressing against price resistance levels in the chart. We're pressing against those pretty hard. And this morning, this gap up open, we're going to be testing those levels once again. If we can breach through these little levels right in here, then we certainly have the opportunity to attack these all-time highs in uh, the market. And the bulls just seem relentless here. It doesn't seem to matter... Um, all of these uncertainties out here, we're just putting our head in the sand and we're pushing higher. And earnings season is a good time for that to occur because we're, we're getting enough of these good earnings reports that it's helping the market be uh, just a little bit relieved, uh, at least so far, um, on this idea of global slowdown. So um, we're getting that little bit of relief here and the bulls are pretty fired up on this information. So right now bulls are in control. Now, of course, if we, we do have the potential with any of these news reports, um, um, China challenging uh, the president saying you know, no deal unless you remove the December tariffs, all those kind of things. We could have that news report that reverses us very quickly. So we're going to have to stay on our toes with the uncertainty out there circulating around but it is nice to see that bullishness coming in and maybe some structure coming back to uh, the market some uh, without all of the whip so right now we're right up here in this resistance area we will want to watch pretty carefully if there's a news report that reverses us down and we have a lot this morning for the market to digest but if we reverse back down remember we have this big open gap down here that's a concern 
So we're, we've got to stay on our toes and um, just don't assume that uh, the all clear has been sounded here in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. SPY doing very much the same thing. We're challenging these resistance highs um, in the market. And you can see we're gapping right back up to that level this morning whether or not we can bust through this double top high is yet to be seen but right now the bulls seem relentlessly um, uh, working toward that they want that to occur and um, pushing very very hard to that upside but once again if we get that disappointing news remember we have this gap below that certainly could be filled and also keep in mind it is not untypical when we crack through a 50-day moving average like that, that we have to come back to test it as support before we go on higher. So keep that in mind. That's that's technically sound, um, but earnings can certainly change that dramatically. We could just keep pushing to that upside move before we get any kind of pullback. Now the cues are fired up this morning. The big report on. Um, Netflix is really helping the queues this morning. And as you can see, we are pushing through a gap up open that is coming very, very close to that breakout level in the NASDAQ, those all time highs. As a matter of fact, they're so close, so close, I would find it unlikely at this point that the bulls won't find a way to push us up there to break that high you know um the nasdaq was struggling more than any of them around the trade situation and um even though the diamonds and the spiders um, had an opportunity to poke through and hit new record highs um, on this last challenge over here, um, the cues just couldn't get her done. And so now we're, we're right back up here on that good report in Netflix um, may inspire those bulls to push us on up maybe trigger some of those all-time highs in the NASDAQ. If we fail up here, unfortunately, we have to look at that possibility that if we were to fail up here, notice we have just right now just a slight downtrend um, here in, in the market uh, or in the queues. And if that were to fail, this could be a critical failure. I don't see that happening right now, but I do have to look at that possibility. And if we were to fail, that would create another lower high um, here in the queues and could really upset the apple cart. So let's watch that close. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, you know, this thing, poor guy, uh, just can't get her going. Um, IWM is going to gap up this morning, it looks like, at least at the moment, showing a gap up open. Um, although there, we still have a lot of news yet to digest, um, but IWM is still um decidedly um in a downtrend and struggling to recover in here um and if we look a little bit closer you can see our 50-day moving average is still below our 200-day move, moving average and we're just not in a good situation here on iwm um, i don't know why the small caps are so under loved at the moment but they are and hopefully um, this can start showing a better signs here soon, maybe cracking that downtrend, showing some support and possibly getting um, on the same growth path as the major um, three indexes. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX is showing us that the market just has no fear um, right now. They're just, even yesterday with the poor um, retail sales numbers, the market really didn't display any fear at all. We just kind of languished around for the day. So no fear in this market, which means the bulls have um, the uh, advantage here and can certainly move us higher. We've broken down through these levels of resistance here in the chart. We're sitting right here on a little level of support in the price action if we bounce off of that for some reason it wouldn't i don't think it would be a, a majorly damaging thing for the market but i fully expect at this point with the bullish news this morning 
um, in uh, Netflix, and um, we've had Morgan Stanley report good news this morning, um, that that fear will continue to drop, and we're going to be moving down here into what I fear is a little bit of a complacency zone, and we'll have to watch that pretty closely. Um, as I speak right now, futures are climbing. We're up 91 points now in the Dow futures, so uh, bulls are staying very, very happy this morning. Let's look at T21-22. T21-22 is the four-week new high, new low ratio. Yesterday, we just kind of wavered around here, didn't do too much of anything more of a resting day for the market but you can see in t21 22 it's not giving us any directional signals but what we do have is that opportunity plenty of opportunity for the market to move higher and we have plenty of opportunity where the market could move lower. So we, we've got room to move up. And right now, that's what the market wants to do. And we're pushing to that upside. We could quickly, in, um, in these, some of these breakouts that are, that are happening today, we could quickly be reaching up here toward that um, all-time or those resistance highs um, in T21-22. But right now, we've got plenty of room to move up there. And that's a good sign for the market. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar, we have a lot of things that we have to chew through and digest this morning on the calendar. If we take a quick look here, um, as you can see, coming up um, before the market opens, an hour before the market opens, we have housing starts. We know housing starts can definitely be a market moving event. We'll want to pay attention to that. We have jobless claims coming in, and we have the Philly Fed Business Survey. Um, this one can move the market, but usually is not not nearly as important as our um, housing starts number and jobless jobless claims. But we'll have to watch that pretty close. And then industrial production um, at nine fifteen, and then we have natural gas and petroleum status report. Now. Um, the petroleum status report can certainly move the market around um, depending on how those surplus numbers show um, they can help um, um, all those oil um, related stocks move up or down on those numbers which certainly can affect the market so we'll have to keep an eye on that at 11 o'clock and then remember we have fed balance sheet here this afternoon probably not a market mover um, most likely not a market mover and we have several fed speakers and i don't think we're going to learn anything more from those today so just something to pay attention to and uh and watch for this morning prior to the open that's going to be those market moving events that we have to pay attention to on the earnings calendar oh my goodness we have quite a day on the earnings calendar it's one of our bit well it is our busiest day this week with about 75 companies reporting and those numbers are coming in pretty fast this morning we've already heard from Morgan Stanley Morgan Stanley beat on earnings and I'm I'm seeing this pattern a lot you guys um, something to pay attention to even though we're getting some of these nice earnings reports let's take note that um, all a lot of these stocks are still um, underneath some significant resistance levels and uh, um, are currently in downtrend. So although we're rallying, there's really a lot of uncertainty still in some of these charts. Be really, really careful chasing some of these earnings reports in those charts with really um, uncertain price patterns um, to deal with. Let's take a look. Um, another um, chart you might be interested in, Honeywell. Honeywell reporting apparently higher this morning uh, or good this morning. And you can see we're bumping up in Honeywell. But here again, we're in a stock in a downtrend and we're bumping into some significant resistance levels on this earnings report. So, you know, it, it's kind of like that bittersweet uh, thing going on. We, we get a good report, but are we really sure this really helps uh, too much anything? Even if we look at Netflix, um, Netflix reporting well, but my goodness, um, let's keep in mind that Netflix is below significant levels of resistance. And even though it's a really a bullish thing to see it moving up, and that's maybe going to push the um, uh, 
the NASDAQ out of uh, to, to all time highs, that really didn't improve anything all that much technically here in Netflix. It's nice to see that bullish report, but boy, we still have a lot of work here to do to resolve some of these issues in the charts and, and clean them up technically. So kind of have to it's it's a little bit of an interesting situation going on right now so that that's going on and then we still have those that disappoint the market ibm disappointing the market um, maintaining its downtrend gapping substantially lower this morning um, pretty disappointing in that report so we have this mixed bag going on right now that is um, kind of interesting um, overall but we're we're, t we're tending to key in on the good reports and we're trying to ignore anything uh, in the market right now that may upset the apple cart and i don't know why that is but it doesn't matter what we have to do as traders is we have to focus on the price action we have to follow that price action and try not to get involved in the prediction of what's going on here so i hope um, um you guys if if this is the first time you've seen these videos i hope you find these helpful that i try to avoid all of the hype and stuff that you might see in other place and, and prediction and we just look at the technicals of the chart and the things that could be um, affecting the market for today and um, if you find these helpful, if you could do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also, click that bell icon when it pops up so you can make sure and be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you think the video is worthy, please click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. It helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks and helps our channel grow. I want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. You guys are awesome. Your comments are awesome. They humble me so much. And I I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are the best. So let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up in patterns that I watch in charts that I think are kind of important. First, I'm going to show you one um, that we took a look at. I, I think it was one of the members of the room that uh, the, our trading room that brought this up yesterday and I really like patterns like this now this is a big wedge pattern and what I like about this is we're up here testing the resistance of that that big wedge breakout notice we've had higher lows that entire time we're building pressure on this upside resistance now i can't tell you if this is going to break out i can't tell you if this is going to ultimately be bullish just yet but what i can tell you is i've traded patterns like this many many times and when we get those big breaks if and, and by the way this can wind around in here for much longer but when we get those big breakouts and we prove to hold up here they tend to be really positive very bullish moves to the upside um really nice potential here's one um, back in the past that you can see where we were held underneath this resistance for a long period of time there's those rising lows and when we break out and hold look at the exceptional move that can be created when we break out of those big resistance areas. So keep an eye on O'Reilly. This is not a trade for right now. As a matter of fact, it may be more of a longer term trade, but one that you might wanna pay attention to. Um, big moves happening in some of the retail areas. Right now you can see Nike. We broke through resistance holding up here. I wouldn't be too surprised to see Nike take off soon with all the bullishness in the market that we're having right now. But I also wouldn't be all that surprised to see um, this chart just kind of wander around here a little bit in this area kind of move over toward this trend before it moves on up but keep an eye on nike looking very very good might want to take a look at a stock uh, docu docu holding nicely in a trend may have just a little bit more sideways move that uh, may be required here but i'm watching this chart you can see my alert here watching for this to maybe pop 
pop out and go. Take a look at Home Depot. Home Depot is also in a pattern. I call this a pop out of the box pattern. We break through resistance, we're holding trend, and we're just kind of sliding sideways. Right now, buyers and sellers are pretty much in agreement. This is the right price. And what I'm waiting for because of the trend is I'm waiting for that to end. I'm waiting for that uh, price to pop on through and send us into that next leg higher. So keep an eye on that. And there's quite a few retail stocks doing the exact same thing. Target looking very good in that pattern, breaking through all of these um, resistance levels in the chart, holding up nicely. We're looking higher here. Any kind of bullish action in here may push that right on through uh, to the upside. Take a look at Costco. Costco, very much the same. And Costco ended up with a bullish engulfing candle yesterday, trying to push higher. We have this resistance level in here to pay attention to, but boy, if we can push on out of there, Costco has a very nice opportunity to pop on through. Now keep in mind, um, oftentimes we will consolidate these moves all the way over to trend before we go. But let's keep an eye on that and these earnings reports, um, you know, starting to show some good signs here, um, pushing stocks higher. So we might want to keep an eye on that. Dollar General is another Dollar General in this nice little tight consolidation after whole uh, breaking through this resistance. We're just chopping sideways, consolidating that move. I would watch this in here for that next potential move higher if it can get uh, going. So just something to watch for. You don't want to anticipate those moves. You want to wait for them. But some really good looking charts are setting up. So, hey, everyone, we're getting some back and forth in the futures. Right now, futures are, uh, Dow futures are pointing to 75 points. So we've cut those uh, gains this morning so far. Probably anticipation of all of these uh, uh, or worry, I should say, over the economic reports today. So be very, very careful. Try not to predict. Watch that price action very closely. Remain flexible in this market and never, never, ever get caught up in the fear of missing out, chasing those morning gap ups, particularly into price resistance. We can run ourselves into a lot of trouble when we do that. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. I wish you all the best and we'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one, everyone.